President Mohamedou Buhari has commended Governor of Lagos State Babaji De Sonwolu for his remarkable strides and visionary leadership. The President made the commendations during his two-day visit to the state to commission legacy projects. President Buhari also witnessed the contract signing of the Phase 2 of the Lagos Blue Line Rail project in Marina beginning from Mile 2 to Okokomaiko. More details in this report. President Mohamedou Buhari's two-day visit to Lagos to commission mega-projects began in earnest after he was received by Governor Babaji De Sonwolu and other top government officials on Monday. The president's first stop was to unveil the 1.5 billion naira Lekki deep sea port and the 32 metric tons per hour Lagos rice mill in Mota in Ikorodu. On Tuesday, President Buhari commissioned the John Randall Center for Yoruba Culture and History and the first phase of the Lagos Rail Mass Transit train called the Lagos Blue Line. During the tour of the facilities, President Buhari hailed the efforts of the Lagos State Government towards infrastructural and agricultural development. While thanking the president for his support, Governor Babajide Sonwolu assured that the facilities, which marks a new chapter for Lagos, will impact positively on the economy of the state and consequently on the lives of residents. He added that his administration is committed to delivering the dividends of democracy to the people. The Lagos Rights Mill in Mota yesterday was a demonstration of eat what we can grow, grow what we can eat your agricultural revolution. The Lekki Deep Sea Port yesterday again was a demonstration of your commitment and ensuring that within the time space we've been able to complete that project with all of the approvals you know, that you have given that project, economic development and all that comes with it. And of course, the benefits, Mr. President, are obvious. It will reduce travel time, it will improve the quality of life of our citizens, and you make Lagos one of the most resilient mega city, not only in Africa, but it will compete with other mega cities in the world. And Mr. President, it is also on track that we will be commissioning the red line before the end of your administration. That, in fact, is even a bigger, better, longer rail corridor, which we're excited with the collaboration of the Nigerian Railway Corporation, where we're sharing the rail corridor. In his remarks, the Deputy Governor, Obafemi Hamzat, accorded the delivery of the historical project to the timeless vision of past governors, as well as the expertise and commitment of the engineering and designing team. We are making history with the completion of this first phase. Central to the implementation of the Transport Master Plan is the Lagos State Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, LAMATA, which was established in 2002 by the government of Achua Gbola Ahmed Tinumbu to develop an effective intermodal transport system for Lagosians. The first started leader, as he is, assured you ensured he bequeathed the state to a worthy and inventive successor in the person of Mr. Babatunde Raji Fashola, senior advocate of Nigeria, who gave the project the significant push that it needed. The first bricks and mortar that hold the project together were put in place by the Fashola administration. Interestingly, Mr. President, Governor Sawolu and I were part of the Tinumbu and Fashola teams. That is the beauty of the ingenious Lagos School of Governance. It, is, it not only brings ideas, it also builds people for the society. While congratulating the Lagos State Government and residents on the inauguration of the project, the Chinese ambassador to Nigeria, Qiu Jianchun, described the endeavor as a symbol of the working relationship between Nigeria and China. We seek to harmony in coexistence, harmony in integration, harmony in diversity, and harmony in development. So, Mr. Governor, are you happy? Are you satisfied? This blue line, we can achieve the speed line, sustainable line, su su speed line of time, sustainable line of better life of Lagos people and Nigerian people, and the symphony line of harmony, 
not only Nigeria, Lagos, and also China and Nigeria and Nigeria, China. Following the groundbreaking signing of the second phase of the Blue Line Rail project, the governor said the construction, which covers 14 kilometers from Mile 2 to Okokumaiko, will be launched immediately. Simisola Adigun, TV360, Lagos.